Thank you. Yeah. Okay, good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the regular monthly meeting of the Board of Commissioners held for the purpose of transacting the general business of the Township. Today's date is January 11, 2017. The meeting is being held in the Springfield Middle School Library. Please stand and join the Board of Commissioners in a moment of silent reflection, honoring the servicemen and women who have placed themselves in harm's way in order to help preserve our safety. Thank you. Please remain standing and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You get a it was, uh, yeah, yeah, huh? last night, yeah, actually. Last night? Yeah. <laughs> At this point, I would entertain a motion dispensing with the reading of the minutes of the previous meetings as written and recorded in the official minute book of the township. So moved. Do we have a second? Second. Any questions or comments? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, say nay. Please record a unanimous vote. Board held an executive session to interview candidates for the position of police lieutenant prior to the workshop meeting of January 9th. And we also held a very brief executive session on the litigation matter at the end of that meeting. Uh, I would acknowledge that we are in full complement tonight here. Uh, and we have no special reports and we have no correspondence which will bring us to the public portion of the meeting. The board is now open to comments or questions from the public. The board draws particular attention to those items listed on the agenda this evening. Please be advised that once the committee reports begin, the board can no longer accept questions from the floor. At the conclusion of the committee reports, public comments will once again be accepted. However, official action on those issues listed on the agenda will have already taken place. Therefore, if you wish to comment on an agenda item now, um, now would be the appropriate time. I don't think we have any public comment, so we will now move on to the committee reports. And I will start off as the chair of the Internal Affairs Committee. Item one on the agenda is the January bill listing. I move that the Board of Commissioners approve the December check reconciliation in the amount of $1,921,433.24 in the January bill listing in the amount of $2,573,895.55. That is my motion. Do we have a second? Second. Any questions or comments on the motion? Yes. Does that close out the business of 2016? Does that close out? The yes. And was there any surplus for this year, for 2016? Yes, I just don't have the number with me. Well, I had the number the other night, and I just don't want to have it with me tonight. The budget was close to $700,000 in surplus, but we were at $1.2 million. And I understand there's still some transfers to be done, but what would be the closer number to the budget for the budget surplus for 2016? Um, I'm going to tell you it's somewhere in the range of uh, between four and five hundred thousand dollars. But it, our budget was seven hundred. I don't understand your question. Your budget was. I'm just looking at revenues and minus the expenses for the close of 2016. You know, the spreadsheet that I was looking at the other night with um, with the uh, assistant manager. The budget was a seven hundred, like say six nine something was the projected budget surplus and our numbers were at 1.2 million dollars at the end of 2016 is extra revenue the, the the number you saw the other night um also included the opening balance mm -hmm. money for the general fund which was uh, i don't know six hundred thousand dollars give or take okay we can uh, um yeah, we can give everybody a, a, a copy of the actual after the transfer is made. Okay. That'd be, that'd, be, that'd be helpful. Thank you. Okay. Do we have any other questions or comments? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, say nay. Please record your unanimous vote. 
Item two is the Library Advisory Committee. And I move that the Board of Commissioners appoint Michael Bruce of Ronald Circle in Orland to a new three-year term of service as a member of the Library Advisory Committee. The new term of service shall expire December 31, 2019. That is my motion. Do we have a second? Second. Any questions or comments on the motion? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed say nay. Please record a unanimous vote. That concludes my report. I'll turn to the Chairman of the Public Works and Facilities Committee, Commissioner Shaw. Thank you, Mr. President. I have two items this evening. First, I move that the Board of Commissioners enact Ordinance Number 949, an ordinance authorizing Springfield Township to perform certain improvements to install sidewalk along the frontage of 535 Willow Grove Avenue in order to ensure the safety of traveling motorists and pedestrians along Willow Grove Avenue in the vicinity of Ardmore Avenue, and further authorizing the Township to assess the entire cost of the installation of the sidewalk on the owner of the aforementioned property in accordance with the Pennsylvania First Class Township Code. That's my motion. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Any questions or comments on the motion? Yes, I have a few comments. Um, this is for the specific property, correct? Yes. Okay. I, 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 I'm not in favor of doing this. Um, with respect to this property, um, this is a single property that we're doing this to. Um, I think that the more prudent thing we need to do if we're going to ask folks to place in the sidewalks is at the time when the, the property is sold, where the owner of the property has a better opportunity to negotiate the sale price with the prospective buyer. Um, we did this with respect to Hawes Lane, but it was part of a land development process and it was through negotiation. Um, I think it just sets a bad precedent. Um, there was complaints about the lack of sidewalk in this particular property, however, it's been like that for years, apparently. So um, everyone knows there's multiple parts of the township where this, so if we get a few complaints, then we'll be subject to placing sidewalks on single properties throughout the township. Um, I just think this sets a bad precedent. Okay, do we have any other questions or comments? Uh, yeah, I have a question. So what's the alternative? Do we, we not have a sidewalk? We just negotiate with these guys for the next, until, you know, everybody runs out of patience or what? No, I, I We've just... We've been waiting for a year for this, you know? Well, I understand that, but we, we initiated the... We, had, we got complaints. We initiated the process to force this property to place the sidewalk on yeah. the property. Um, uh, it's not just the owner of the property. It's the family that's involved. And I can tell you straight up, if you were telling me that all of a sudden I have to put $10,000 out to place a sidewalk on my front property, I'd have a problem with it. Um, particularly, that is how I purchased the property. That's why I'm saying, just like the certification process, when someone moves out of the township, that we certify the, the curbs and the sidewalk, um, I think that same process should occur if we're going to implement this. So I believe I asked the gentleman when he purchased the property, say it was eight years ago, that would have been the proper time. That when you're, you're selling your house, instead of asking 400 for the house, maybe you'll ask 410 knowing that you have to put sidewalks in. So, um, you know, it's just my position on it. I just think it's we could do it at a different time. Um, we could even say when if you refinance, I, I don't know. Um, I just think it'd be better when someone has a better negotiation um, ability. That's just my comments. Okay, I appreciate where you're coming from. I, I will point out that um, we're, Barrett and I are certainly very familiar with that stretch, and you can't go out in the street. It's because you can run over. It's on a busy street. The, historically, there have been several gaps in the sidewalk there, and the other neighbors, without us forcing them, paid the money and did it. And this person and his predecessors did not. And there's been a lot of pressure from the neighbors, worried about the safety. And you're right. And the question is, when's he going to sell? We did call him in here. He quickly agreed that he would do it. But he asked for a year because he said he was going to be redoing his kitchen and he could do the bidding together. And the year came and went and it didn't get done. So we did show some patience. Oh, and how yeah. much patience? There's not a right or wrong. Case. I agree with I'm not. I'm, um, not, I'm not disputing that at all. I appreciate your effort. And, and I do, as with this and the next, not the next side, whatever the other item is. Oh, the other ones, is that not on the agenda because it's it, next it, month? It does have it. Okay. Um, there is the fear that we, we're going to go wild and do this, but I don't think we are. I think this is a very special case, mm -hmm. um, and I have no intention of doing it anymore. Um, 
but I will listen and see the public. Well, that's, that's one of the concerns I have with the, the ordinance, which are we voting on that tonight? Or? Yes. We're voting to advertise it, right? Okay. And we'll get to that. Yeah, the advertising. We're, we're just advertising it, but I can make comments then. But if we're making it easier to do this in the future, I actually think it should be harder on the government to do this than make it easier. Mm -hmm. We'll get to those arguments. Okay. Um, any other questions and comments? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, say nay. Did you vote for it, Chip? Uh, no, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> please record a 6 1 vote. Thank you. Next, I move the Board of Commissioners authorize advertisement of an ordinance amending Chapter 92 sidewalks to provide notice to all property owners of their responsibility to install, maintain, and repair curbs and sidewalks. That's my motion. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Any questions or comments? Um, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. You, you, no, I, I'm fine with advertising. It's just advertising. Okay. So please record a 7 0. And what that is, we're moving a step closer to passing an ordinance that would um, change the way we do these to make it be done in a slightly different and more expedient manner if we decide to do it. So Jim is certainly right. It does make it easier, not harder. You know, if we decide to do that next month. Um, but it would not actually force anybody to do anything. We'd have to do further. Um, Glenn? Concludes my report, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Sham. And I would like to turn to the Chairman of the Community Development Committee, Commissioner Standish. Um, thank you, Mr. President. Um, pleased to say I'm probably the only commission here that has a live audience for my speech. So here we go. I move that the Board of Commissioners approve the preliminary final land development plan of Blake development located at 1300 Bethlehem Pike Flower Town. The subject of the land development is the development of a 9,600 square foot three story building with a mix of office space on the first and second floors and three apartments on the third floor. The plan consists of 13 sheet. Um, sorry, the plan consists of 13 sheet preliminary final land development plan set for 1300 Bethlehem Pike prepared by Ruggiero Plant Land Design LLC dated August 31st, 2016, last revised December 5th, 2016, and a copy of a post construction stormwater management report for 1300 Bethlehem Pike prepared by Ruggiero Plant Land Design LLC dated August 31st, 2016, last revised December 6th, 2016. The plan approval includes the following waivers. One, Chapter 95-11I, 11A, regarding the removal of two trees located in the northeasterly corner of the site. Two, Chapter 95-10E, 2A and B. The applicant will only provide a park and recreation fee in lieu of the required land for dedication for the residential uses within the development. Three, Chapter 88-12B1I. The applicant will provide a five foot wide access easement around the subsurface infiltration bed rather than the required 15 foot wide access easement. And four, Section 3, Roman numeral 2A3 of the Springfield Township Construction Standards requires a minimum inside diameter of 15 inches for all stormwater pipes. The applicant will be permitted to utilize a six inch AD HDPE storm sewer pipe to the underground infiltration base. The plan approval is subject to the applicant complying with all the other aspects of a letter dated January 5th, 2017 from the township engineer to the code enforcement officer. That is my motion. Well spoke. Um, do we have a second? Second. Any questions or comments on the motion? I'd like to make a comment. Um, Mr. Blake and Mr. O'Brien, I would just like to personally thank you for working closely with the residents in the area of your property and helping to ease a lot of their concerns, a lot of their tension, and a lot of their anxiety. Um, I think I can say from the beginning when they first heard the proposed development, the tensions in the neighborhood were on a different level than they are now. And I'd just like to thank you two gentlemen for listening to them and working closely to help resolve a lot of these issues. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, say no. Thanks for please record a unanimous vote. Is that your report, sir? That's my report, yes. Thanks.
Thank you, Commissioner Standish. Let's move to the Chairman of the Zoning Committee, Commissioner Daly. Thank you, Mr. President. The following zoning hearing petition uh, will be heard on Monday, January 23rd, 2017 at 7 p.m. in the Springfield Township Library, uh, Middle School Library, um, yeah, Middle School Library. Uh, the petition is for Ramini Bulo and Janini Ranza Sweeney at 34 Sandy Hill, Sandy Run Circle, Fort Washington, are requesting a variance to allow a second kitchen to be installed in the basement of their single family detached dwelling located in the AAA AT age targeted residential district. Um, with respect to that, Petition, I move that the Board of Commissioners authorize the Office of Township Solicitor to represent the interests of the Board of Commissioners in opposition to the zoning hearing application, uh, petition number one, um, for January 23rd, 2017. That would be my motion. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Any questions or comments on the motion? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, say nay. Please record an announce vote. Thank you, Mr. President. That would conclude my report. Thank you, Commissioner Daly. We move to the Chairman of the Cultural Resources <coughs> Committee, Commissioner Wilson. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm pleased to announce that <clears throat> during the month of December 2016, Springfield Township residents recycled 215.3 tons of materials with a householder participation rate of 84.7%. The net cost for the month was $16,412.11. For the year 2016, township residents recycled a total of 2,434,000.1 tons of materials with an approximate 94% of the anticipated volume of recycled materials. On a weekly basis, each household recycled 16.5 tons of recyclable materials. That concludes my report. You want to read that last sentence again? <laughs> That's on the weekly pounds. basis, pounds a lot of beer. Are not tons. Oh, pounds, yes, pounds. <laughs> pounds of recyclable materials, not tons. It's good yeah, that we're recycling. Too bad we're not getting yeah. paid for it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that concludes my report, my amended report. <laughs> Thank you, Commissioner Wilson. We call on the Chairman of the Human Resources Committee, Commissioner Cray. Thank you, Mr. President. I don't have a report, but I do have an announcement concerning the uh, observance of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, King Jr. Day. I'm pleased to announce that the Arcadia University Office of Institutional Diversity will present in collaboration with the Sheltonham branch of the NAACP, the Montgomery County Racial Injustice, Injustice uh, Improvement Project, the Jewish Social Policy Action Network, and the Arcadia's Pan-African Studies Program, along with the Black Male Development Symposium. Uh, we will be having the seventh annual Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Day townhouse meeting and discussion. This year's discussion is supporting youth, families, and communities that will take a new look at the criminal justice system and the need for a pre-trial diversion, I mean division, and release opportunities. The town hall meeting will be held on Monday, January the 16th, 2017 at 6.30 p.m. in the Commons Break Room at the, of the Arcadia University campus. For more information, residents are to be referred to the township, uh, the Springfield Township website at www.springfieldmonco.org and the Arcadia University. I'm proud to say that I'll be a panelist during this discussion. And uh, that is all that I have for this evening, Mr. President. Thank you, Commissioner Graham. Commissioner Wilson, do you want another crack at item number seven on the agenda? Yes, certainly. <laughs> Environmental Advisory Commission. I move that the Board of Commissioners appoint David Michael Back of Redford Road to fill an unexpired term of service as a member of the Springfield Township Environmental Advisory Commission. The unexpired term of service shall expire June 14th, 2017. <coughs> Further, I move that the board of commission. Oh, do I have to make? That's my motion, I guess. Well, we can do a joint. Motion. Oh, you want to do it together? We'll okay. My second motion for approval is I move the board of the commissioners appoint Michael Needleman, Fraser Road, and Aaron 
uh, Steppelwitz of East Southampton Avenue as ad hoc associate members of the Springfield Township Environmental Advisory Commission. Those are my two motions. Thank you. We have two motions, or a combined motion. Do we have a, a second? Second. Any questions or comments? Yeah, it's just Mr. Mecklebacher expresses thanks to the board. I actually had a call about something else. Good. Good. Well, we can thank that's even better in 10 seconds. Um, any other questions yeah. or comments? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, saying nay. Please record your unanimous vote. Okay, and we are now ready to call on the co-chairman of the Public Safety Committee, Commissioner Maxwell. Thank you, Mr. President. My first item this evening is the Shade Tree Commission. I move that the Board of Commissioners appoint Kenneth Ferguson, Jr. of McCluskey Road to fill an unexpired term of service as a member of the Springfield Township Shade Tree Commission. The unexpired term of service shall expire July 13, 2017. That is my motion. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Any questions or comments? All in favor? Um, please signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, saying nay. Please record your unanimous vote. Next two items are concerning our police department. First, I move that the Board of Commissioners extend a conditional offer of employment to Patrick S. Johnson, Jr. of North Line Street, Lansdale, PA, as a probationary police officer with the Springfield Township Police Department. The conditions of employment include successfully passing the Pennsylvania Act 120 Police Academy, passing a physical examination, and a psychological examination. The date of appointment will be set dependent upon Mr. Johnson meeting the conditions of appointment. That is my motion. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Any questions or comments? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, say nay. Please record your unanimous vote. Next item is in regards to our police lieutenant. On January 9, 2017, the Board of Commissioners had the privilege of meeting with three of the sergeants of the Springfield Township Police Department who were certified as eligible for the promotion to the position of police lieutenant. The candidates participated in a written and oral examination presented by an outside police consulting firm and were also evaluated on their performance by the chief of police. All three candidates performed well in the evaluation process. At this time, I move that Sergeant Leroy Lee T. Allen be promoted to the position of police lieutenant in the Springfield Township Police Department. Lieutenant Allen is married with two children. He earned a Bachelor of Science degree in criminal justice from Westchester University. Lee was appointed to the police department in July 1990 and was promoted to corporal in January 2003. Lieutenant Allen was promoted to sergeant in December 2012 and during the course of his career received 27 commendations of letters or letters of appreciation from the township or residents of the township. Lieutenant Allen will commence his duties as police lieutenant at such time as he has administered the oath of office. That is my motion. Thank you. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Any questions or comments? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, say nay. Please record a unanimous vote. Uh, Mr. President, before you move on, sure. uh, on that same note, I didn't know if I should make it before or after the motion. No, go ahead. Uh, but I'm just pleased to, uh, to say that I'm very happy that this board uh, will allow me to work in conjunction with Chief Pitt going forward on uh, selecting uh, future candidates uh, for the Springfield Township Police Department in order to reflect the diversity of the community, along with not only minor, uh, African Americans, but also with women. Uh, so I'm just very happy and I look forward to working with Chief Pico uh, in this upcoming year to make sure that the advertisement for these positions and what is necessary to meet the requirements are more, um, I would say more prevalent within the African American community. Thank you. Right, and thank you for taking that on, Commissioner Grant. Uh, Mike, you have another motion? Yeah, I have one more this evening. Uh, fire police officer confirmation. I move that in compliance with the Pennsylvania Consolidated Statutes, Title 35, Health and Safety, the Board of Commissioners of Springfield Township confirms the following members of the Flowertown Fire Company as Springfield Township Fire Police Officers. Daniel McKeska and Kenneth Fox. Fire police provide traffic control at or near the fire stations, the fire scenes, accidents, and occasionally supplement 
the Township Police Department in traffic control. That is my motion. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Any questions or comments on the motion? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, say nay. That concludes my report for this evening. Well, that concludes our committee reports. We are now open for a final period of public comment. You're up, Mary Margaret. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioners. My name is Margaret Mary. Yes. And um, I, I just wanted to uh, bring this out to your attention. I'm sure you're aware. And probably directed to committee person Wilson. Um, currently, uh, recyclables are not collected uh, until the following day after there's a holiday. And the I, following week, I think, isn't it? Except Christmas and New Year's. Correct. Right. Yeah. And what happens is that those recyclables pile, pile up. People don't have uh, sufficient containers to accommodate them, and my concern is that a lot of that is going into the trash mm -hmm. as a default. And if there would be any way possible that we could have, when um, the trash is collected the following day, that recyclables also be collected at that same time. Mm -hmm. To answer your, may I answer the, her question directly, uh, Jeff? Okay. Yeah. Um, with, with respect to the additional containers necessary for recycling, the, the, you don't have to buy another $20 or $30 you know, yellow tub. The township will give you a sticker that you can put on anything, you know, any, any trash can lid that says this is a recyclable material in this, in this can. And uh, I, I personally find that works very, very well for the, the high, high flow periods, you know. Um, with regard to the, the, the pickups, I will defer to the staff to, to discuss uh, additional pickups or the pickup schedule for. Yeah, I sometimes do it even without the sticker. I just put them 10 feet away from each other. Put the trash in one mm. stack and the other, which has yellow and blue stuff already there, and if I need the extra one, just put them all together and they get it. I, I know because I watch which one comes. Um, but it's obviously it's a money thing. It's tricky because you're asking them to do double all the work in one day. What right now we have them picking up two days worth of trash and one day's worth of recycling. And so when we do it like we did now, we're probably paying overtime, right? Well, no, but it or, takes another three people off something else. So, so it's a prior, priority thing. And as both of you said, as most people have another container for the the holidays, the parties, mm -hmm. the hold over and it all seems to work out well. So can, can they buy another yellow container? They can buy well, it. Sure. As Peter said, we'll give you a sticker the and put it on any for free. Yeah. yeah. Right. But it, personally, and I've witnessed this with uh, our neighbors, is that the um, recyclables just pile up and pile up and mm -hmm. it's not collected and it becomes really burdensome uh, for the residents. Um, it's been my experience, right. so well, I want to bring that to the that. board's attention mm -hmm. if there's anything c can be mm -hmm. done. I don't know with um, the budget if there's anything that can be done to accommodate mm -hmm. a dual pickup when the trash dogs come. Okay, great. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have any other public comment? I bet we don't. There being none, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Do we have a second? A second. So in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 We're adjourned. New record, 29 minutes. There you go. We're under.